The never seen before showdown in Parliament. Almost half of the opposition shown the door. Now the worsening standoff between the government and the opposition over the Parliament security breach hitting rock bottom. Now just months before the big battle for 24, the government and the opposition refusing to see eye to eye. More than 90 uh, members have been suspended from both the house, from both the houses, and this for disrupting proceedings. Now while the opposition is insistent on its demand for the Home Minister's statement on the floor of the house, the government is not willing to concede either. What is the way forward now as key bills are in the pipeline? Our senior colleague Himanshu is now joining us live on the broadcast. So Himanshu, you know, this standoff, ultimately the taxpayer is hit because you know, it takes money to run the house and these disruptions, there seem to be no end. And 90 members suspended in a single session. These are record numbers we're looking at. Uh, I think yes, because if you just look at the numbers, 33 Lok Sabha MPs and 45 Raj Sabha MPs have been suspended today. If you add up, it comes to around 78. And last week, 13 Lok Sabha MPs and one Raj Sabha MP, Derek O'Brien, were suspended. So if you add up both, the number comes to around 92. And imagine, since the Parliament security breach incident happened, 92 opposition MPs have been suspended. And this clearly reflects uh, the, the growing uh, fissures uh, in Parliament, in both Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha. And I've interviewed several MPs, both in the Treasury benches and also in the opposition ranks. And both sides are insisting that the stand that they have taken is right. Opposition MPs are now saying that they will take this battle to the people's court. They will now start protests uh, on the road now because they have been denied to raise issues that they wanted to raise uh, in Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha. On the other side, the government insisting that there were several important legislations that were pending that the government desperately wanted to get it uh, passed in both Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha, but the opposition protest was denying the government an opportunity uh, to hold any kind of discussion and get this bill passed. And right. so that is why the Lok Sabha Speaker and Raj Sabha Chairman were forced to take this uh, tough decision. But the fact on the ground is that the political stalemate which started on 13 December is now deepening and I think not much work we can expect in the remaining four days of the winter session. Vedant.